The Longest Day by Cornelius Ryan, A Literary Analysis Cornelius Ryan's The Longest Day is a seminal work of historical non-fiction that vividly portrays the events of D-Day, June 6, 1944. Published in 1959, the book has become a classic in the genre, offering a gripping account of the largest amphibious assault in history. Ryan's storytelling prowess, meticulous research, and ability to weave together personal narratives with broader historical context make The Longest Day a compelling and enduring work. One of Ryan's most notable strengths as an author is his ability to bring history to life through the stories of individuals. He achieves this by interweaving first-hand accounts, interviews, and letters from soldiers, commanders, and civilians involved in the Normandy landings. Through these personal narratives, the reader gains a deep and emotional connection to the events of D-Day. For instance, the story of Lt. Richard Winters and his men from the 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment, portrayed in the book and later popularized in the television series, Band of Brothers, offers a microcosm of the larger operation. Ryan's choice to focus on individual experiences adds a human dimension to the broader historical narrative. Furthermore, Ryan's narrative style is characterized by its meticulous attention to detail and rigorous research. He spent years conducting interviews with veterans and collecting documents, photographs, and maps to ensure the accuracy of his account. This dedication to historical accuracy is evident throughout the book, allowing readers to trust the information presented. The detailed descriptions of the preparations, the assault itself, and the aftermath provide a comprehensive view of the operation and its significance. In addition to individual stories and meticulous research, Ryan excels in presenting the grand scope of Operation Overlord. He effectively conveys the immense logistical challenges faced by the Allies in planning and executing the invasion of Normandy. Through his writing, readers can appreciate the complexity of coordinating thousands of troops, ships, aircraft, and supplies. Ryan's vivid descriptions of the chaos and confusion on Omaha Beach, in particular, underscore the enormity of the undertaking. By providing a bird's-eye view of the operation's strategic aspects, he offers readers a more complete understanding of D-Day. Ryan also excels in portraying the different perspectives of the various parties involved in the invasion. He presents not only the Allied viewpoint but also that of the German defenders. This balanced approach adds depth to the narrative and allows readers to appreciate the challenges and fears faced by both sides. By humanizing the enemy, Ryan avoids the trap of oversimplifying history and instead encourages a more nuanced understanding of the conflict. One of the most significant achievements of The Longest Day is its ability to capture the sheer scale of sacrifice and heroism displayed on D-Day. Ryan's descriptions of the incredible bravery exhibited by soldiers who faced overwhelming odds are both moving and awe-inspiring. The portrayal of the selflessness of medics, the determination of paratroopers behind enemy lines, and the resolve of infantrymen storming the beaches creates a profound sense of admiration for the men who participated in this pivotal moment of World War II. While Ryan's storytelling and research are commendable, the book is not without its criticisms. Some argue that his narrative occasionally becomes too fragmented due to the multitude of personal accounts, making it challenging to follow the broader flow of events. Additionally, his focus on the American and British perspectives may leave some readers wanting more coverage of the experiences of other allied nations, such as the Canadians and Free French forces. In conclusion, Cornelius Ryan's The Longest Day stands as a testament to the power of historical storytelling. Through a masterful combination of personal narratives, rigorous research, and a balanced presentation of events, 
Ryan offers readers a gripping and comprehensive account of the D-Day landings. His ability to convey both the individual experiences and the grand scope of the operation contributes to the enduring relevance and appeal of this classic work. The Longest Day remains an essential read for anyone interested in the history of World War II and the remarkable story of D-Day.